friends. It's time for another Jeep video. It's late night Sunday. Um, I am going to explore the wiring down here because I think there's some damage to this wiring. This is a common, somewhat common problem on these Jeeps. Um, so I'm gonna see if this is what's causing my no start condition. Um, the computer is throwing um, uh, a code that's related to wiring. Uh, I don't remember what it is off the top of my head. But anyway, I'm gonna pull the battery out and see if I can find it. Yeah, okay, so you guys can't be writing thick things, but honestly, I'm just using a 10 millimeter wrench to loosen the battery cables, and then I'm gonna pull the battery out. Um, I'd really feel a whole lot more motivated if the Jeep was running before, or at least the engine would fire before I um, pull the engine out. I I'll feel a lot less adventure in my life. So one trick I learned a long time ago when loosening batteries, let me see if I can find a better place to put the camera mount. Hey, that looks really good right there. Is uh, to use a flat tip screwdriver to pry the battery clamp open. And this leads to them lasting longer. So you just insert that in there and then twist, and then that just makes it a little easier to lift off. So I did the negative first, now I'm going to undo the positive. lift the battery out of here so the battery's dated 5 of 18 so it's a four-year-old battery not the best of things certainly not the worst of things so I guess that's some kind of a battery sensor and then what we're really interested in is down here and I'm put on my uh, headlamp if you're curious about these headlamps I did a review on them let's just check my feed so I'm gonna just kind of take this apart and see if I see anything that's damaged why this is all shot to shit but it's obviously not doing any good in its present form because it's crumbling I'll find the trash I'm a little surprised at how brittle this plastic is it shouldn't be that brittle back there um, it's just crumbling so it clearly needs to be replaced it's brittle so I guess it just didn't handle the heat in the engine compartment very well I'm not seeing any wires that are legitimately damaged so the next place to look is going to be in here and again let me see if we can find somewhere to perch the camera
aren't the right pliers, but they will work for our purposes. So I need to go get some wiring diagrams. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I've got my multimeter. It's a, um, it's actually one of them, but it's a cheap one. And we're gonna do ohms of resistance. This should give us. So I just have to turn it on. Oh, I think the battery's dead. Let me change the battery in this meter. So I changed the batteries on this, and it still keeps rebooting every time I touch the contacts together. So it's gone bad. Um, I'm not terribly surprised. I did salvage the, the leads off of it, and I'm going to put the rest of it in recycle and trash because I have better things to do than fight with it. So I've got another meter that does not have any problems, and when I touch the leads together for continuity, I get a beep, which is what I was looking for. And um, so what I'm going to try to do is figure out If the relay is work, if the relay is working, so we're going to take it out and we're going to turn it upside down, and I'm going to read the so thirty is here. That's the common feed. Well, normally open and normally closed. So I have continuity across 30 and 87A, which is normally closed. So let me see how this is supposed to operate. So when the PCM is off, ASD 87A connects to 30, so that's the off position. When the PCM energizes, 87 to 30 should be connected. So 87 is the two big terminals. Let me see if I have continuity across here. I do not. So terminal resistance between 85 and 86, let's see, okay, we're already in that mode, so let's figure out where 85 and 86 are. That's the coil relay, and it's a little bit high at 80 something, but that shouldn't cause it to not work. It's supposed to be 75. We're reading 72.3. Uh, I don't I don't think that's an issue. I really don't. And then fuel pump is not that one. Oh, fuel pump is here. 
So we're going to repeat this test. So we're going to check the coil and see if the coil is shorted. Seventy-two and a half, and it's in normally closed. So I don't, I don't see anything wrong there. So we'll put it back. And FML. Oh, okay, now that's just me not reading right. So. So I'm running down the test that they prescribed. So I need to ground. It looks like I'm actually going to have to reconnect the battery because I need to I need to touch off of it, and there's no nice way to do it except through the battery terminals. So I'll go ahead and touch connect these back up for testing purposes. So green is ground. And then actually it wants me to use the relay, so relay here. So we're testing the relay physically. hear it clicking so it's not the pro I, I don't think this is a problem all right and then 87 to 30 should have continuity 87 and 30 Guess it would help if I measure the right terminal. Yep, relay is working. All right. Now it says check the rest of the circuit. Gee, thanks. Go fish in section eight wiring diagrams. So I think that the issue is related. Uh, I, I think it's something else. So let me look at this diagram again. 